This week, we're doing the one and only Totoro from one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. Oh, <laughs> I swear he's okay. Okay, so. Oopsie. <laughs> So I made the leaf and the trunk ahead of time. So I'm just going to show you how to make Totoro himself. So he's pretty simple. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with the black for his whiskers. We want to do this first so that it has time to dry and harden since it's so thin. Yeah, that's a really good tip. It's much easier that way. Yeah, so just put them off to the side. You're going to cut six and then we're going to mix a lot of white and black to make a nice gray for his body. The shape of his body is actually, he's made up of like different animals. They say the, the tanukis, which is like Japanese raccoon and kind of like a cat. So he's like a spirit of the forest, but. That's why he's so cute. Yeah, I, I didn't really know what he was, but he kind of just looks like a potato here. <laughs> so just set him off to the side, and then we're gonna do his eyes. Make sure the whites are bigger, because he has really small, like, black pupils. Mm. He kind of has that, like, surprise look. <laughs> <laughs> That's his little nose. Now, are you gonna do his big mouth or a tiny little mouth? I want him to be surprised, so he just has like a dot of a mouth. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so it's cute and small. And then I'm gonna roll out the top parts of his uh, little ears, so they're like rounded cones. And then I'm gonna use a toothpick to kind of help stabilize it, and then just kind of like stick them together. Yeah, those ears won't go anywhere with that. <laughs> Just kind of shorten that, and then I poked little holes to make it easier so I don't like squish his little ears. Cool. Oh, he's coming together, right? Okay, now we're gonna do yellow and white for like the yellow part of his stomach. And then uh, I'm gonna flatten it out. So get your little roller. And then I kind of just shaped it, eyeballed it with the scissors, and then he has like a really wide like circle on his stomach. There's something really satisfying about cutting Erdo with the scissors. Yeah, you just get like those really smooth lines. And then he has like these spear-shaped like arrows on his stomach. So I just cut out like a bunch, maybe like six or seven of those, and then I'm just gonna place those on there. It doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, that looks cute. Did you guys know he also made a cameo in Toy Story 3? Wait, what? I didn't know that. Which I have not seen, but it's awesome to know. I'm gonna have to rewatch that now. <laughs> and then I just made his feet with black and they're gonna be covered anyways with his big old body. And then I have his two arms. They're just like flat little things with his fingers <laughs> made out of black. His right arm is most important because I'm gonna stick him on this trunk I made beforehand. And then um, he's gonna be standing on top of it. So let's place him on there. And then I also made this really cool leaf. So instead of his umbrella, I wanted him to hold a cute leaf. So his right arm's gonna help hold that oh, in Oh, I place. see why you did that now. Yeah. yeah it wraps right around. Yeah, so he's gonna be in the rain. Yeah, he is also done. So if you guys like what we're doing, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we'd love to hear any other ideas you guys have for us to make. And I will see you here next time. See ya.